They all look good here. And the gates open, away in the cup. And Hedinger from the inside bounced well with influential Jack. Those two were fast and destroyed. Valabar sits off him early and afternoon tea goes forward. Getting back all hardwood and Kipax allowed to find his feet. He'll be last going down to the first turn. Where Hedinger and afternoon T. They're going to set up the speed and work towards the 1300 metre mark clear. Now settling back in third spot was influential Jack. Fourth is Valabar now as they work out of the straight towards the 1200 metre mark. Well back all hardwood. Kipax sits outside. So afternoon T. Young Emma Lines takes this galloper to the front. Stepping up in distance and class, but shows the way a length in front of Henninger, who sits second. And these two look comfortable at the 1,000. About four lengths back to influential Jack Valabar, fourth hits the outside, improves. Four lengths back in the field to all hardwood, and the last one is Kipax, but on a move. So down the back, no real change at the 800 metre mark. It's afternoon tea, the leader, but Henninger's right there. Gets up outside it now, working off the back. A gap to influential Jack ridden along. Valabar needs to get a move on. These two leaders have a good lead, and then Kipax starting to come into it and all hardwoods last so down the side Hedinger got to the lead now got away from afternoon T who's run its race Valabar still battling away in third spot but still spotting a good six lengths at the 400 meter mark a gap then to Kipax influential Jack and all hardwood runs on so coming around the turn now it's all Hedinger folks Aaron Sweeney sets off for the judge a mile in front Valabar's trying ever so hard but it's all Hedinger he runs to the 200 meter mark four in front Valabar can do no better Kipax, all hardwood, afternoon tea, but it's all Henninger. And Aaron Swinney takes a look at the crowd, says, look at me, baby, it's mine. And it's all Henninger. Wins it by five on the line. Second, Valabar. Third will be all hardwood. And then we've got Kipax, a gap then to influential Jack and the early leader, afternoon tea, the last one home. And Henninger takes it out. Neil Dyer, Aaron Sweeney. Too good. Sat pretty in second spot throughout, really travelled comfortable. And then put Pato Afternoon T off the back and then put up a big lead. They just were not making any ground from the back. Valabar was doing, ever, doing its best, but he could just battle away. All hardwoods battled away late there with Kipax. But Hedinger, who's been in great form, way too good. Numbers confirmed, the interim's coming through. Three, two, five. Three, two, five, three, the winner, Henninger. Second goes to two, Valabar. Third to five, all hardwood. And we stand by for fourth. Six prominent there, Kipax for the interims here in the Catherine Cup. So a very good campaign, Henninger. One it's made in Alice Springs not that long ago, really, but uh, has racked up uh, four wins now in its career from 24 starts, all of those in the Territory. And that win this afternoon will take its prize money up towards the $100,000 mark. It's been a pretty good campaign for Hedinger. And Neil Dyer and Aaron Sweeney have had a pretty decent carnival. They've been round about it all the way through. And have taken it out. Now, seven and a half by three lengths the margin. It was a one-act affair, folks, in the Catherine Cup. So three, two, five. The winner, three, Hedinger. A five-year-old bay going I'm invincible, fast love. For N. Dyer, Earl, uh, well, um, Laurie Earls there in the ownership. P. Ford, A.E. Cody, G. L. O. Sullivan, T. Kelly, S. P. Dingman, P. J. Mahoney, B. J. Bin, C. D. C. Blythe, J. Dyer, and C. J. Sinclair. P. Jervisoni, Da Puna, four. And we've got that ownership there, managed by S. Vaughan, J. Lawless and J.A. Coleman, framed by Neil Dyer, so he gets the feature this afternoon. And Aaron Sweeney, he's enjoying himself in the top end. 